The next part about this, this recitation is about the uh, mass operations. So in this section, we will cover the broadcasting, the element-wise operations, the reduction, comparison, and the uh, vector or matrix operations. So firstly, for the broadcasting, broadcasting can um, happen between arrays of different dimensions. So that means uh, given two arrays with different dimensions, we can still do the uh, addition or multiplication between them. So here is a, one example. We define one row array as uh, with a dimension one by three and a column array with a dimension four by one. So as we can see, we can still add them up to output a uh, additional array and this array is with the dimension of four by three and also we do the multiplication and it will output the array with the dimensions four by three uh, as well so this uh, broadcasting is uh, automatically uh, being applied uh, in the numpy arrays on uh, numpy arrays the next one is element wise operations so for element wise operations we uh we have two different types one is uh, uh, the operations with scalars and another one is the element wise uh, operations between arrays so first one uh, is additional with scalars we can see we define an array and we can add it with a scalar value so that can add this scalar value to each elements uh, each element in the array and also for the multiplication, we will multiply this scalar to uh, each, element, each element in the array. And for uh, and when we add two um, arrays, this will do the element-wise addition or the element-wise uh, multiplication. Uh, there are also some uh, unary operations uh, for the numpy arrays. So one example is uh, to get the absolute value for each element, we can do uh, numpy the ABS. And also another one is to get the square root values for each element. So we call the NB the SQRT. For the reduction, here we show uh, several different examples. Uh, given a uh, array, we can get the max value, maximum value of this array by calling np.max or the minimum value of this array by calling np.min. And also we can get the sum of the, uh, sum of the ar array. And also there's another one, it's called np.argmax. That means to get the index of the maximum value in this array or the um, uh, np.argmin to get the index of the minimum value of the array. Uh, and also we uh, similarly we can call np dot mean to get the mean value np dot std to get the standard deviation or uh, uh, the last one is for the uh, normal values of the array so all of them can be uh, these operations can be applied on the whole array or we can specify a certain axis for example here we we just want to get the our max the index of maximum value along a certain axis. Here is zero axis, or we want to um, get the uh, index of minimum values along the uh, first the second axis. Here is one. So if the uh, operation is applied on the whole array, we will get a uh, scale value. Or uh, if we specify the axis, this will uh, output a array uh, uh, array with uh, uh, certain dimensions along another axis. The next one is about the comparison. So here we can do the element-wise comparison. Um, if we uh, define two arrays, random arrays, and we can do the greater comparison by using the uh, greater uh, greater mark, or we can do the less comparison, and we can also do the not equal uh, comparison. Uh, Element-wise comparison means like we will also output a array with the sa same shape uh, of the uh, these two arrays, but we also can get uh, can use another two uh, functions. One is called any and another one is called all. So this will get this will return true if any of the values 
uh, in this array satisfying a certain requirements or all of the values uh, in this array uh, satisfy the uh, requirements. So the last part is about the vector or matrix operations. Uh, so this part is mostly um, used for some uh, linear algebra uh, calculations. So here we, firstly, we can uh, see the vector, uh, vector, vectors multiplication. And by doing so, we can use one is called a numpy doll uh, matmal and Equally, we can use a add mark to, uh, to do the vector multiplication uh, for these two. And next one is about is uh, the multiplication between the matrix and the vector. And similarly, we can use a np.mml or the add mark. Uh, the last one is about the matrix by ma uh, matrix times matrix. So uh, here we can use np.mml. Uh, apart from the uh, multiplication, we can also do the dot production. So by doing dot production, uh, we can just call the mp dot uh, on the, here we use the matrix, but it can also be applied on the vector. And also for the, uh, for the dot production, uh, if, there, is there, so if the both arrays are with the uh, uh, two dimensions and we can uh, use this add mark as well to do the dot production. But if the uh, arrays are with multiple um, multiple dimension, multiple dimensions, we have to use the np.mml to do the calculation. The last one is about the tensor dot. So tensor dot uh, usually is used to uh, write 16 codes for the homework, especially for the convolutional neural network. And a brief overview for tensor dot is uh, we input the arrays and the respective axis along which the sum reductions are intended to do. So uh, the goal for the tensor dot is to do, to do the sum reductions over some uh, specific axis. And the axis that take part in the sum reduction are removed in the output and all the remaining access from the input arrays are spread out at different access in the output, uh, keeping the order in which the input arrays are fed. So this is a long uh, overview, but we will uh, show it in a uh, example. So here we define it. the first array A with a shape three by four by five, and then we define the second array B with a shape four by three by two. To do the tensor dot uh, in between, uh, we have to specify the axis first. So here for the A, we use the axis one, zero. So that's four, three. And for the B, the axis are zero, one. So it's four, three again. So notice that here, the two uh, axes, they are same for A and B. Um, this is used to do the sum reduction. And uh, after that, we remove all these axes uh, in output. And so the only thing left is um, the dimension is five by two. So we can see by doing the um, tensor, tensor dot, the output is C and it is with the dimension five by two. This, is, this also equals to uh, a four layer for loop to do the sum reduction. And we can say uh, C equals to B in the end for all the uh, elements.